Hey everyone, welcome back and thanks for clicking on this video. We are going to learn all about the trapezium and how we can construct one ourselves. Let's look at the properties of the trapezium. Firstly, like all other quadrilaterals, it has four sides and four angles as we can see here. Again, like all other quadrilaterals, all internal angles add up to 360 degrees. Now, where things differ a bit is there are only two parallel sides or two parallel lines as we can see. CD and AB are the only two parallel sides. The fourth fact that we need to note is that no two opposite angles are equal. So if we look at the angle at ACD, we'll see it's 135. And if we look at ABD, it's 60. And the other way around, it's 120 and 45. Now that we have covered the properties, let's look at how we can construct this ourselves. Okay, so let's go. Of course, we'll start with our base line, our first side. Let's turn on ortho mode so that it's nice and horizontal. So we have a base side or line of 500 millimeters. And what we're gonna do next is draw two arcs at either end of the line. Now these arcs are important because they will enable us to construct our 45 degree angle and our 60 degree angle. These are our two base angles. For these arcs, we use a radius of 100 millimeters. Um, you can really, you can use any radius, it doesn't matter. But especially for the 60 degree angle, you need to take note of it. And we'll see why in a few. So we're extending, we're drawing us another line to join the baseline and you'll see why in a moment. But off camera, we have labeled our baseline line a b so line a b is 500 millimeters as you can see here and we just added another line to it a shorter line that is for the construction of our 90 degree angle which will then turn into a 45 degree angle so let's look at that right now so we have our our first arc here and using a radius of 120 and the center for our arc being the center for new arc being where the original arc intersected with line AB. And then we do the same for the other side. Now the radius must be the same for both sides. In this case, I used 120, but it could be anything above 100. What we're gonna do now is draw a vertical line from point A to the point of intersection, as you can see. And I'm pretty sure that this angle is now 90 degrees, but let's just double check. And yes, our construction is correct. It is 90 degrees. Okay. Now we want to bisect this 90 degree angle and create two 45 degree angles. Now, none of this is new. We have done this many times in the past. There are many videos covering how to construct a 90 degree angle, how to bisect any angle, etc. So we're just using the same steps for this process. Right, in this case, I used arcs with a radius of 120 and they intersect quite nicely there. So we're gonna draw a line. Now this is actually another side of the trapezium. We're gonna draw a line from point A, passing through the point of intersection. Okay, 
and the length of this line of this side is 250 I believe all right and we measure the angle and you can see the angle there is 45 degrees it is correct as we would have noted in the beginning when we covered the properties of a trapezium two of the sides must be parallel so the next side we're going to draw which will originate at point C is going to be parallel to line or side a b so let's just draw a horizontal line originating at c and let's just pull it all the way out great so these two lines are parallel next we want to construct the 60 degree angle at point b now the first arc that we drew had a radius of 100 and this is important because we need to maintain a 100 millimeter radius. So we use this point of intersection. Again, nothing new. We know how to construct a 60 degree angle and our radius, we keep it at 100 millimeters. And where the two arcs intersect, if we draw a line from point B passing through the point of intersection, this angle will actually be 60 degrees. I'm trying to get this lined up, but it's giving a bit of trouble. So I'm simply going to stop the line there, this side, and then I will extend it. Right, so the two lines have crossed at the top, but no problem. We'll just enter the trim command and neaten it up. And we are, we are pretty much 90% there. So off camera, I would have entered the last point, which is D. I would have changed the layer of the trapezium so that it's more visible and we inserted all the internal angles so you can see that none of the angles are the same neither are the opposites the same and here we have our trapezium pretty straightforward i hope and trust that you would have learned something from this video please like and subscribe if you haven't already Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time.